Hey everyone, here's a question from insertion of class X. The question is based on the perimeter of rectangle. The question is, find the perimeter of a rectangle whose area is 500 centimeter square and breadth is 20 centimeter. So they are asking us to find out the perimeter of rectangle. And we know that to find out the perimeter of rectangle, we should know both the sides of rectangle, that is length and breadth. And in the question, they have given the area which is 500 centimeter square and they have given the breadth which is 20 centimeter. But to find out the perimeter, we should know length and we should know breadth. So breadth we know it's given the question, we don't know length. So we have to find out the length first. And how are we going to find out that? So apart from this breadth, they have also given area. We are going to use area here to find out the length and after that using length and breadth, we are going to find out the perimeter. So area is given the question. So we know that area is equal to 500 centimeter square. Right? And they have given breadth which is equal to 20 centimeter. Now how to find out the length? So we are going to use this known thing from the question. Using breadth we cannot find out length. right? So we have to use area here. But what is area of rectangle? The shape is rectangle. right? So what is area of rectangle? We know that area of rectangle is length into breadth. So in this, in the, in the place of area, I am going to use the formula of rectangle which is length and breadth. So length into breadth is equal to 500 centimeter square. So I am using formula here and in this formula I am going to substitute breadth. I have to find out length. I know breadth, right? It's given the question which is 20 centimeter. I'm going to use that. So length into 20 centimeter is equal to 500 centimeter square. Now, to find out this length here, I have I just want length here, right? I don't know this 20 here. Now, if you have learned the transpose method, if you have learned algebra, you have learned the transpose method, you know that whenever you transpose a number from one side of the equation to the other side, the number will like it, it goes to division because right now it's in multiplication. When you transpose this, go to division. So we're going to divide 500 by 20 and we'll get the answer. Now, in case you have not learned this transpose method or balance method in algebra, then just think about a number. When you multiply 20 with this number, which we don't know, you want to get 500. You can also do that. Okay. So I'm going to use a transpose method here. So I'm going to send this 20 centimeter to the other side of the equation. So L is equal to 500. Now centimeter square means you're multiplying centimeter two times. That's why you got the power two here. You would have learned this in your exponents chapter. So this will be like centimeter multiplied by centimeter. So this is not uh, like I'm just showing you how we'll get the centimeter at the end. And I'm going to transpose this 20, so we'll get 20 centimeter. So you can see that we have a centimeter in the numerator and in the denominator, so they'll get cancelled. Okay. Now cancel is 20 and for 500, so you can cancel this in 10 table. 10 twos are 20, and uh, 10 fifties are is 500. Now cancel 2 and 50, 2 ones are. 225 is 50. I'm, doing, I'm using cancellation method here. If you want to divide, you can divide 520 separately. You're going to get the direct answer. I'm using cancellation method here. And you can see that we got 1 centimeter left here. So this is equal to 25 centimeter. That's it. So we got length which is 25 centimeter. So this is, this is only one part of the question. Now we have to find out the perimeter. We know length, we know breadth. We know length is 25 centimeter and breadth is 20 centimeter. Using this, we're going to find out the perimeter. So what is perimeter of rectangle? I'm writing P here. P is nothing but perimeter. So P is equal to 2 into L plus P. You're adding length and breadth twice here. So P will be equal to substitute everything. So 2 into length is 25. So 25 centimeter plus breadth is 20, so 20 centimeter. Now add them. So this is equal to 2 into 25 plus 20 is 45, so 45 centimeter. Now multiply 2 and 45 will get 90, so 90 centimeter. So perimeter is equal to 90 centimeter. That's it. So this is important question, like this type of questions are important where they ask you to find out one thing and then later another thing. So this type of question can expect for exams. And I hope this question is clear. In case you have other questions or doubts or from any, from any chapter or anything, you can just drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.